morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Thursday. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. It's going to be a fun day. Woo, woo, woo. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Dun, dun, dun. All right, everybody. Today is Thursday. It's April 27th already, and it's day two. Day two. I just wanted to take a moment to thank everybody for really working together so that we could have the best PSSA test administration ever. It was great. Thank you to our second graders who were flexible with the schedule. Thank you to everybody who normally worked with a certain teacher and they had to work with a different teacher. Thank you to everybody who helped with bathroom breaks. Thank you to everybody who helped in the cafeteria. And thank you most of all to all of our students in kindergarten through, first, uh, through second grade who really were quiet in the halls and who really tried to make sure that they made good choices so that our third and fourth graders could really do their best, okay? Appreciate it. Now you might be saying, Dr. G, are we all done? Not yet, not yet. We've done three days of the reading or the ELA testing. And now for the next two days, today and tomorrow, we're gonna try and look at all of our lists to see, did anybody uh, miss day one? Because they were absent. Did anybody miss day two because they were absent? Did anybody miss day three because they're absent? So we'll still do some makeup testing and we're gonna do that uh, in the library, okay? So in the morning, the library will still be uh, like library on a cart. We'll do that today and Friday. And then Monday and Tuesday, third and fourth grade will be working on math. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, third or just fourth grade will be doing science. So. We're, we're getting there, and I appreciate all you're doing, but we're not done yet, okay? So let's keep up the good work. Let's continue to be respectful, responsible, and safe. Let's continue to remember that if we all work together, we can have the best school year ever. And also, dun, 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 I went two years ago, I think, to a 76ers playoff game two years ago, and I am donating this to our wonderful end of the week raffle. So uh, go 76ers and you can earn a raffle ticket for your teacher by following his or her directions the first time, by being respectful, responsible, and safe, by being calm and quiet during the uh, PSSA test administration, and really also by especially making good choices on the bus and at the bus stop. I'm getting some reports that there are some students who maybe were just a little tired or a little frustrated uh, from the PSSA, or maybe something happened at recess, or maybe something happened at home. But we have some students who I think when they're waiting for the bus, they're maybe walking onto other people's property. We probably shouldn't do that because people call me, you know, they know that we're Hoover Hawks, we're all wearing Hoover Hawks stuff. They all know where everybody goes. So people call me and they say, hey, Dr. G, can you just remind your students that we would really appreciate it if they do not touch other people's property when they're waiting at the bus stop? I said, absolutely, we're Hoover Hawks, so we will do that. We've also had some uh, folks say, hey, Dr. G, can you remind everyone if they're walking home or if they're riding their bike home, to really make good choices and to make sure that, you know, if you're an older kid or a bigger kid, you're not doing anything to sort of bully or or frighten or scare the younger kids. You know what I mean? Uh, so not touching people, not saying inappropriate words and, you know, not like trying to scare them like you might hit them with your bike or something like that. So let's really make good choices. I keep telling parents, you know, when kids are at the bus stop, or if kids are walking home, or if kids are on their bike, there's really uh, three things that can happen if they make bad choices. Uh, parents can talk to other parents to try and make things better. Parents can call me. We can always try and make things better. And parents can also call the police. 
uh, because it's happening off school property after school hours. So we don't want that to happen. So please, 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 if you're somebody who rides the bus, is at a bus stop, or is a walker, or is a bike rider, please continue to make good choices. And remember, everybody's watching you all the time, all right? And good leaders make great choices, even when it looks like nobody's watching them, all right? So if you're at the bus stop and you think nobody's watching you, think to yourself, what would Dr. G want me to do? How would he want me to behave? If you're sitting on the bus and the driver's you know, trying to navigate with traffic, think, what would Dr. G want me to do, all right? If you're riding your bike to or from school, what would Dr. G want me to do? All right. Let's have a great day, everybody. And we'll be getting ready for the uh, PSSA makeups uh, very shortly. And our normal schedule is in effect for today and tomorrow. So second grade, you're, you're at your normal special time. Fourth grade, you're at your normal special time. And then next week, when we're doing the um, math and science testing, we'll switch it again. OK, but today will be as normal as possible. Tomorrow will be as normal as possible, but we will still have library on the cart for a little while. All right. Have a great day, everybody. And please make good choices so maybe your teacher can win this wonderful towel. Bye-bye.